my name is Patricia Barbosa. I attended the State University of Campinas in Brazil, where I completed my undergraduate studies in computer engineering. But not satisfied with a bachelor's degree, I decided to um, enroll in the master's program at the same school. And by the time I graduated, I was really uh, into taking a step further and continue my studies and research in the U.S. So I went to the University of Southern California in Los Angeles where I got my master's degree in electrical engineering and then I came here for my PhD. I was looking for a school that not only had um, faculty members doing good research in my particular field of interest but also where I could get the most for the years I would be working on my PhD. Since I intend to teach in the future, something that was very important to me was to leave graduate school with some experience in teaching. And at CSU I could have all that. In fact, um, besides doing research, I had numerous opportunities to work with students either as a teaching assistant or as, as an instructor. My research with Dr. Chong is about finding the minimum amount of information uh, necessary to track a target. So for example, imagine you have this network of sensors deployed over an area where you want to track, for example, an aircraft. So the question is, what is the minimum amount of information that I need from these sensors in order to track this aircraft? The same question can be posed in the case of tracking, for example, a package or an animal. So these sensor networks will be uh, in the future uh, really an integral part of our lives so it is really important to answer some fundamental questions that will help in the design of these future networks. Graduate students who decide to come to CSU and do their graduate studies in the electrical and computer engineering department should expect to be taught by some of the best in the field, to be involved in state-of-the-art research and with that come opportunities to publish papers in internationally recognized journals and also to present papers at uh, conferences around the country, perhaps around the world. I believe I found my advisor just as the most of the graduate students do. Uh, I went to the department faculty webpage and I looked for professors whose research interests were similar to mine. I then introduced myself to my current advisor and sent him my resume and academic information and then he described his research project. I really liked it and then I joined his group. Coming from a big city as Los Angeles to Fort Collins, which is a small city, uh, was no shock at all. It is great here and uh, there is actually a very vibrant nightlife here too for those who like it. It's impossible not to fall in love with Fort Collins. Everybody is very friendly and warm. Um, this is a very charming city, especially Old Town. I love sports, so and CSU has great recreation facilities, so I'm a regular at the recreation center and uh, where I do pretty much of everything, um, and I'm a huge Denver Nuggets fan, so I try to go to their games as much as I can, but uh, I mean, why stay indoors when you're in Colorado? So in the winter you can do snowboarding and skiing, and in the summer you can go rafting and do hiking, and uh, uh, it's a never-ending source of fun here. I think it's really easy to adjust to uh, CSU and Fort Collins, um, especially in my department. Um, all department staff and uh, faculty, they are very willing to help students in whatever they need to succeed in their studies. And also students here have the opportunity to work closely with faculty members. And that's in part because the faculty to students ratio is high compared to other departments and that, that's something that can make all the difference in the world for a student who is trying to succeed in completing their degree. The financial aid I received here at CSU has been really important to me. Um, I've been both under GTA and GRA appointments and um, besides the obvious financial benefits, these appointments gave me the priceless opportunities to teach undergraduate courses.